and welcome to my channel. This is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a floral arrangement using 2A Magic flat brushes, a 12 and a 14. I will list links down below as affiliate links that you can purchase through if you'd like. A number 4 round brush by Magic, a fine liner by Westonia, and a dotting stylus. All the paints I use are folk art paints, mixture of, I do use some multi-surface and I also use the enamels. I'm using teal, aqua, teal topaz, which is a metallic, patina, and for a little contrast, moon yellow. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the number 14 to cr create a lot of the floral blooms. Dip one side into the patina and one side, now that's, I'm not sure, one side is going to go into the teal. I'm going to do some blending strokes here and then get started on the creation. If you're new to my channel, have any questions or comments, please put those down below. I do create the videos for beginners so that a lot of people feel comfortable, you know, actually painting. Because I think being creative helps with relaxing. A lot of people could use a source for that. All right, so I'm just going to go like that. If you feel like you need to go over it again, feel free to do so. There's a little lip here. The thicker you apply your paint, the more durable your design is going to be. Just so you know. Okay, so I'm just doing slight wiggles, putting the pressure down, and going around. Now, I'm a lefty. If you feel like the direction I'm moving in is not comfortable for you, then go the opposite direction. I'm going from right to left, then you would go left to right when you're creating your petals, if that makes sense, I hope. And I'm trying to achieve this with five petals. You don't really have to have a certain amount of petals. That's up to you. It's not required. Um, so if you end up doing more or less, that's fine. Again, that's up to you. I'm just doing slight wiggles. And two, if you feel like you want to do, you know, some different styles, you know, where they're partially open, they're partially closed, or however you want to view them, you can do that as well. Not when I put more of a tip on it. I'm so used to doing that type of a petal. You can keep them more rounded if you want. And also when you're painting like this, if you want to hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, give it about an hour or so dry time, then go back over it. That will help you add more durability because you'll have more layers of paint. And again, that, that's totally up to you how you want to do it, if you want to do that or not. And any of you that follow me know that it's hard for me not to paint big. So, I'm trying to fit the amount of leaves and petals that I put on my design on paper. Because that's where I create it first. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, though. 
main thing is to have fun, right? Have fun, have fun with it. I'm gonna put a couple little blooms down here. Again, if you feel like you need to go back over them, feel free to do so. And there you go. And I'm looking here, I have four blooms. Let's see, maybe I'll throw another one up here. Push it down. And you can also make, like where they're, you don't show all the petals because like say, like this one is partially behind, but I'm gonna actually overlap it. I like to do that too. And you can make your blooms different sizes. They don't all have to be, even if they're all open, they don't all have to be the same size. So there you go. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, get my, my little liner brush, wherever, and I'm gonna stick it into the teal topaz and into, again, I'm reading these aqua. So I have both onto this. Then I'm just gonna come here and pretend where my stems are gonna be. And just put it in here. I mean, you can have it where they're all linked together, they're all separated, that's up to you. But I am going to go over these just to make sure they're a little bit more durable when you uh, just have one little thin line, it could scratch off easily. So I like to add to it just to make sure. And this because it's kind of flipped up a little bit, I'm going to show how I'm connecting it to the stem. This one has a little bit going down there. And then I'll just come up around these little blooms. Come in with the aqua so I can see it. And you can just pull down or you can leave these this part out, doesn't matter. But I'm going back and forth between the aqua and the teal topaz and just putting in this little little strokes here just to kind of show it a little bit and attach it them out. They don't have to be just a single strand. All right. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is take my number 12. I'm going to put it in the teal topaz and the aqua and do some blending strokes here to make my leaves. So they're similar in color, but they're not going to be identical. Even though they might look very similar. All right, so I'm just doing the wiggle kind. And I'm gonna have the lighter part on the right side. And we'll come over, maybe come over here a little bit. Do another one, pushing down. And I like to go over like what I've already painted on. And the reason for that is it's probably more natural that way. If 
you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I would appreciate that. And let's see where else we can go with this. Let's try it over this direction. And you can just look at your design as you're creating it and have fun with it and see what the design's going to end up being once you're done. I think that's the fun part. I'm going to do that here. I can go back over this one if I want. Some of the glare makes it a little hard for me to see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And I think I'll do one more up this direction. I'm going to try not to go over. Whoops, I don't want to go over this too much. But I want my little bud to show there still. Even though it's a little bit behind my tap on it. Then let's go through here with the little round brush. The number four, I'm going to go into the teal topaz. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to find little spots and then just tap down, tap, tap, tap. I'm not going to mix it with any other color. I'm just going to allow it to be you know, just the metallic little thing that it is. And come over here, do some this way, that way. They can go in different directions. They don't all have to be heading in the same direction. Because I just kind of like to have them just as fillers. And I do a little bit over here too. And so I have those going that way. Let's see here. Maybe even put out a few this direction. And you'll see why here in a moment. I just want them a little bit here and there. They just don't have to be, you know, anywhere in particular as far as we have to have them over here or there. Just stand back, look at your design, and see where maybe a little filler needs to be. That's all you have to do. Then I'll take the liner, dipping it into the topaz and the uh, aqua. I'm going to come through and I'm going to add my stems, bring them into, make sure I'm on the camera, bring them in here. And they have a little bit of the, the teal topaz in them and the aqua, but I can pull in through these as well. And pull into these little ones over here. You can do some really light little poles going like this. Go like that. Like I said, and you can just do some natural, you know, so they're not just kind of hanging out. I did have one there. I didn't even see it. 
All right, so I think we're good to go on that. Got that in there. I'm going this way, that way. Then I'm going to take my little dotting stylus, come in here to the center of the flowers, and just simply you know, put in a few dots, nothing major. And then I can come into these little guys, put in a few little dots, just 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 for color. That's all it is, just for color. And you put three or four, however many. And then I'm going to come through, do the same thing on these little buggers, so I can see them better since the colors are all very similar. Then this helps make them a little bit more visual for us. Again, with the, with the shimmer of the light, sometimes it's kind of hard to see these. Alright, I think I got I think I got them all. Hopefully I did. But anyway, it's very pretty. Just very soft. And just makes a really pretty design on a glass bottle or really any any surface. I just like to paint on glass. You don't have to paint these designs on glass. That's up to you. And yes, I do use this paint on other surfaces. If anybody wants to have a question, I've been using the enamel on walls, wood, whatnot for years. And it's awesome. All right. I do appreciate you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before you leave, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.